take care of your mind and the food that you eat. Healthy body, healthy mind. And read the books, especially one about the walrus. <laughs> so the story of the day is, I don't know if you know Matt Walsh, he created a book, right? And in this book, he talks about being a trans man or a woman, but instead of that, you're a trans walrus. A children's book. And he just explains the journey of a trans man that is removing parts of his body because he believes he's a walrus. He likes amputate stuff, replace it, being a walrus. And it gives you like a very unique dystopian way of thinking about your own freaking body, which is kind of destructive, you know? I mean, at this moment, if you don't even like your voice, you might be a trans already because you don't like that. Well, guess what, people? I didn't like my afro. I didn't like the fact that my nose was big. <laughs> I didn't like my toots. Um, I didn't like the fact I have no eye. I didn't like the fact that I couldn't build muscle because I thought that was not freaking possible. So I was even thinking about putting things in my body so they grow and everything like they put a weird oil. Hey, Amen. That's the world that we live in. But guess what? This book that he was selling is a best-selling book, Gangster. Best-selling, beautiful, life is Gucci. But then, this video appeared. And we're going to watch it and see how people think. But Johnny the Walrus is a bit of a problematic book. Uh, not a bit. It is, it is not a bit of a problem. It's one hell of a problem. Um, and I would preface this about what the book's about, but the customer we're going to listen to does a great job. So uh, let's go ahead and listen to this customer. To report a book that you are selling, I just checked your website and the book is still up on there. I hate to tell you, but... It says that the book that it is shipped and sold from you, it is by Matt Walsh. It is teaching kids to kill, well, to bully transgenders, yeah, to, to bully them into committing suicide, the LGBTQIA, especially transgenders. The story is about a kid who likes to pretend he's different things, and one day he pretends he's a walrus. And the community tells him he either has to be a human or he has to be a walrus, or they're going to kill him. He can't be both. He can't pretend anymore. Johnny the Walrus is about a boy who's pretending that he's a walrus, and his mom makes a rather modern parenting mistake. She starts to listen to the modern progressive parenting advice that tells her that if her son is pretending to be something, that he really is that thing. And if she's a good parent, she's going to continue to support him in believing it and encouraging him in his new identity. Now, what I really like about this book is that when a parent reads this to a child, the parent is really understanding there's a message about transgenderism, but the child can just enjoy the story and learn a concept that's important for a child to know without really getting into any adult situations or understandings. It teaches the children about the idea that there's a difference between reality and fantasy and it tells the parents that it's their responsibility to make sure they protect their child from thinking differently about that. And that tends to be... Now, the author, Matt Walsh, just tweeted this yesterday morning at 8.04 a.m. I now have the number one anti-LGBT book in the country. Any further criticism of me or my book is homophobic. Checkmate. You are selling a manual to how to teach kids to bully other kids to commit suicide. I talked to, she said she was going to get the book stripped off of your site. Now he is bragging that he has the number one book. You are still going to continue to sell it. And now he's bragging and that he's glad it's going to make 
the LGBTQIA kids, especially transgenders, commit suicide. He's bragging about it on Twitter. You know what? Honestly, I'm I'm really mad because I have a I have a sibling that who is a member of the LGBTQ. So I'm really mad as well right now. The book made it to number one bestseller in LGBTQ books, and actually I think it was number four of all books for uh, a day. Um, the damn sold good. Like it, it's it's bad faith. It's basically abuse of Amazon systems, and they're 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 intentionally like it, when I say they, I mean like Matt Walsh and his publishing publishing company and other people like him are taking advantage of Amazon and how the Amazon algorithms work to promote their particular brand of hate and arm on the community. But one day he comes down the stairs and he is pretending to be a walrus. He has socks on his hands for fins and spoons in his mouth for tusks. Mom then of course takes a picture of her son like good moms do to share on social media. But once she shares it, she encounters a lot of people telling her that she's a bad mom if she doesn't embrace her child's new identity as a walrus and conform her ideas to accept it. In her confusion of how to best parent her imaginative son, she takes him to the doctor, and it's so cute, it has a woke doctor degree on his office wall. And this pink-haired medical professional tells her that Johnny needs to eat worms, wear gray makeup, and have surgery to transition himself into a walrus, because that's what he really is inside. Of course, Johnny is a bit confused then, and though the worms taste nasty and the gray makeup is itchy, he goes along with his mom as she starts to treat him like a walrus, showering him with water and taking him to the MW Zoo to live. Finally, the zookeeper and the hero of the story, surprisingly and conveniently a replica of Matt Walsh himself, looks at Johnny and tells his mom, no, he can't live at the zoo. He's a boy pretending to be a walrus. Mom explains that she's confused. She doesn't want to be called phobic by these people outside of her family that are out on the internet. She's afraid that's what's going to happen if she doesn't go along with this fantasy. The zookeeper says, protecting your son, ma'am, is what's most heroic. The happy ending is that the mom listens to the zookeeper and takes her son home as a real boy the one that he always was. On the way home in the car, Johnny pretends he's a bird flying home. And um, Chuck, do you want to talk about the uh, the other screenshot here? Y yes, absolutely. Thank you. Uh, no, I don't want to talk about it. I, I don't. I don't want to talk about anything. Well, we're will you talk about, about it? But Yes, I will. Um, so we have two screenshots here. Uh, the one... Uh, it shows where Johnny the Walrus was placed because of how they categorized it. Um, and then the publicity that went behind it was number one in LGBTQIA literature. And one of the things that I have to give the book's teams credit for is that when we reached out and we were like, this is not where it belongs. And we, you know, and we showed them, you know, and then the subsequent trolling that Matt Walsh was doing, um, they reclassified it into politics. Um, but it, yeah, it's still, it's still for some. Um, and what is the other part of this that is equally disturbing is um, he, uh, Matt Walsh is getting ready to release, um, I believe, um, a book called What is a Woman? And there's also a, a, a documentary that comes with it. Um, um, one man's journey to answer the question. I mean, like, does like, like, let's just back up for, for a second and say, does a man even belong in this conversation? No, he doesn't. You, look, I think Matt Walsh is just trying to prove a point. It's not that he wants to mess with you people. I don't think nobody wants to hurt you or make sure that you don't have a satisfying life. The problem that we see is how you live your life is not the problem. It's the fact that you try to educate kids 
that are vulnerable to this stuff that when they see it, they find it interesting. Just the way that trans people might have tried to participate in that woman thing because they thought, hey, I can be a woman. But he put maybe some hard questions or tell them, can you menstruate or whatever? And then it became an issue, right? It's not that we don't want you to do stuff, but the fact that you label it in such a powerful way that you think it's your job to bring it to schools and teach kids about this, it does not make any sense. That is the reason why people are now kind of bragging about it, because being a conservative, nice, humble, and be the nice guy, it's always like somebody is pushing, pushing, pushing. You explode, and they move. And then they push, 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 push. You explode. It's like you can't have that humble mentality these days. So all Matt Walsh is doing is applying the same tactic that you're applying. He will push, 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 stop, push, 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 stop. And you can blame it on the algorithm that the algorithm is for the people, the white people, the conservative. The, no, if something sells, it's because majority of people think like that. How can a small percentage of transgender people that is so small be so angry when they want to normalize something that it's not normal for other people? So what do you do? You go after the thing that only normal people can adopt or create because they have the most stable relationship. And you're like, you know what? I can do whatever I want because if this little girl feels happy, I would feel happy about myself. I do not believe that. Guess what? We're not, it's not even on sale yet. And it's, Number one in women's studies. <laughs> and, and number one in the other category um, that it's available in as well. It's not the category. You can look if some if something resonates with a bunch of people by labeling it different. The fact that it still works proves to you a lot of people agree with this. OK, we don't want you to not enjoy your life. If you want to do things to your body, good, do it. Be happy. I wish you all the best. And it surprises me that so many people are autistic because they feel already lost around normal people. So you are allowed to do something to your body when you're autistic. But once you want to go back, they need to do a psych evaluation because autistic people are not sure if it's a good decision to turn back. And I'm like, wait a second. Why is everything to change you? But there's nothing to motivate you to come back. It's like, hey, man, you want to go to war? Good. Jump with the parachute. How can I come back? Well, um, we don't have a boat yet, but let me know if you're alive. Does that make sense? Yeah, this, so, this is cheap mansplaining. You know, what? And in, 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 in this isn't a case of... This is a case of someone exploiting our systems, right? Our systems aren't... like They're not set up. To okay, but the fact that he said that, I'm done with this video. We are exploiting the system. You are exploiting the kids. Bug off with that mentality. Now, you can't tell me that I'm exploiting the system when you're definitely exploiting the kids. Because if there was a different kind of teaching that the LGBTQ doesn't agree with it, if they did that in school, you would get pissed off. Anyway, let me know what you guys think. I'm going to end this video. I'm going to keep making this short. I'm trying my best because I love to talk. But hey, life is Gucci. Peace. Subscribe. Don't get me wrong, my ghost a guitar bong. Put the fire na mi blonde, kush hash purple skunk. Creo yo golem bichi jam jam dur loketa verdeta welcome. Dem vida mi a tu me iniciativa, pa trai ku indica y tambe que sun sativa. Te inda no que acepta ku eta medicina, Bob D, Nang D, eta causa rebeldia, ku king.